Go to the Konyam Hill. I think it's on our left. 
Okay, so this is the first part. You actually have to go through this to the portals of the park. Columns that adorn the former Hong Kong Federal Post Office 1911 to 11th of October 1976. Arranged by Mr. Y. Mm -hmm. And the Kunyum Hu is up this way. According to Google Lens, these flowers are called azaleas. But they're inside the gate, so I can't really take a photo of them. And then we have to keep walking up this road. Where's this go? Like a direction sign? I'm gonna try to find this one. So we're now gonna go to our right hand side and keep going up to the Kunyam Shan. Just saw these beautiful yellow flowers, but Google Lens was not able to recognize it. Um, what language is this? I think it's English. I mean, it's gotta be English. And then Kunyam Shan is on the right hand side. Oh my god. Look at these beautiful blueberries. So there is actually a K-A-N-N elephant mm -hmm. here, and we have to keep going to the right. Oh my gosh. There are so many cherry trees here. The Kaduri brothers, Lord Lawrence Kaduri and Sir Horace Kaduri, planted the seeds for Kaduri Farm and Botanic Garden when the aim of the association was to encourage the right mental outlook by helping people to help themselves. And in 1956, the association established an experimental and extension farm, present site as a center for demonstrating crop production and animal husbandry improving livestock breeds and training local farmers and Hong Kong-based Gurkha soldiers. And that's all the time I've got left to tell you about this Kaduri farm. I hope you enjoyed listening and you can only see these cherry blossom trees during the Chinese New Year time. There are actually loads of bees around but it's so worth it for the foliage. Oh my gosh, look at all these churches. I just tried to Google the flower name, but it says connection time out. It's really beautiful. Oh, this is the Yuping Fang Memorial Pavilion. And then to go to the Kunyam Shan, you have to go up this road. In Cantonese, this word means silence. And it also means stillness, serenity, tranquility, contemplation, profound insight, and eternity. There are actually two pills here. And I think we have to go up this road to go to the Kunyam Shan. We are finally arrived at the Kunyam Shan. It is too pretty. We're gonna have some lunch here. Look at our lunch. Six banana bread. And then the Kunyam Shan statue is also there. And then we're gonna fly our drone. And in this drone clip, I will be telling you a little information about this Kunyam Shan. Kunyam Shan is a mountain located in northern Hong Kong. It is inside Kateri Farm. And it is the only hill where you have to pay for the entrance fee. Every other hill in Hong Kong is free of entry. And Kunyam Shan is 546 meters. And it is the north of Tai Mo Shan. And it is a popular destination for springtime cherry blossom viewing, which you saw just now in this video. It takes around an hour to walk back down to Katori Farm. Although it did take my friend and I two hours because we did it in a really slow pace. And now I want to tell you a little bit about the Kunyam. The Kunyam is actually the most easily recognizable goddess found in almost every Chinese temple in the world. And she is the goddess of mercy. 
Transcending all Chinese doctrines, she sits firmly in the center of the Chinese spiritual tradition and revered above the Buddha in many Chinese Buddhist homes and above other gods and tiles ones. Kunyum is the quintessential Chinese deity. To understand Kunyum, she is known in Mandarin. And if you understand her, then you basically understand the evolution of Chinese religion. And the Kunyum is actually part of the Buddhism religion. And it entered into China in the first century, bringing with it Avalokitesvara, a male Buddhist. And emanation of the Buddhist is the Bodhisattva of compassion. And the monk Xuan Zhang brought Buddhist scriptures back from India in the 7th century. And the event was significant enough for the author Wu Cheng to immortalize the event in his novel about the monkey king journey to the west, one of the four great classical Chinese novels. And Xuan Zhang translated the Sanskrit text in Chinese. And that's all the time I've got to tell you about the history of Kun Yam Shan. I hope you enjoyed listening. Statue. Um, I think I want to try and walk to the Minasil Monastery, which is on this road. We walk to the back of the Konyam Hill of this field. Oh, there is like a 1,812 feet sign here. And then it actually goes back down. I'm gonna go back down to Kettery Farm. Oh my god. Look at this beautiful scenery. I just took a photo here with my drone. The garden looks so nice. And we are now gonna follow this Enkayanthus walk. It's basically like a forest, my friend said. It feels like this is the forest in Hunger Games. And then I started playing Sing Safe and Sound. Yeah. This song was played in the Hunger Games movie. So this is the end of the Enchantress walk, and there's a really beautiful wall here. And my friend said it looks like the wall in wall game. Just finished going to the Mountain Lodge toilet, and we are gonna go back down to Kateri. Three, two, one, let's run! <laughs> so these flowers are called Thumbayas. Look at this Geniostoma and Lastrophonian plants. They look quite pretty actually. I want to take a photo of you. To Google the name of these flowers, but there's no internet connection here. But I still took a photo of it. And then we're still walking down to Kateri Farm. Okay, we've walked past this butterfly garden, but I want to try and walk down this way. We are now going to go for the farm walk. This is the farm block. That is a stream here. And then that's it. And we have come out of the farm block. It's basically like a forest. And we're gonna go back down that road to Kedalee Farm. Oh, this is the convent garden. We're gonna go in to have a look. I think these are called bluebell flowers. There is a beautiful maple leaf tree here, so I just took a photo. I don't know why everything looks so pretty. Is it because the sunlight is shining this way? Just notice this beautiful cherry tree here. Oh my gosh, there's so many miscanthuses here. I took a photo here. Oh my gosh, look at this beautiful maple tree. I just took a photo here like this, and I think we're close to the entrance. Oh, uh, actually, there is an owl here. Or what is this? I don't know. Ooh! All the animals come out Ooh. at night. And this is where I ended the vlog. So, if you enjoyed the vlog, 
don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. And I'll see you all with another traveling vlog. Bye!